Hi, I'm the Highway Walker, and we are going to continue our journey with long-term food storage today. In the past, we've used five-gallon Mylar bags. Today, we're going to show you what it's like to prep with a one-gallon Mylar bag. And we've chosen pinto beans to start. We believe that rice and beans are just two fantastic items for you to prep. Pinto beans are great for lowering heart disease. They replace copper, iron, magnesium. They have vitamin B1. They're just fantastic and they go a long way if troubled times would come and you would need to feed your family and even friends. This is a great item to prep is pinto beans. Uh, the one bag I'm going to do today is pinto beans. It's a high protein source and it's a good thing to have handy. Very inexpensive, uh, but they will store for long periods of time if stored properly. Yeah, you can't store these in uh, extreme temperatures though. These would have to be in a cellar or on a shelf, but not just out in the elements. One of the things we need is a one gallon bag. I'm gonna use one gallon because it's, that way when you open one, um, that's, that's quite a bit of beans for us. This, I'm gonna be using this, this is a hot iron, which we'll use to seal the bag so that it will be a permanent seal for a long time. Also, what we need is oxygen absorbers. There's two things you have to worry about when storing food, and that is oxygen. That's why you have the Mylar bag. Also, you need 300 cc's for this size one gallon Mylar bag, where we did 2,000 in the five gallon. Also, we're gonna be throwing in a desiccant, and this will also help keep the moisture uh, out of your, uh, your beans, in case there was any. These are pretty dry already, but that's just a little extra precaution. And uh, most of the things for long-term package, you want to make sure it's dry and oxygen. I'm going to cut the corner off. Now, two people does this, makes it a little easier, but one person can do it. In the bottom, I always like to put the desiccant because moisture does have a tendency to work its way down. Eight pounds of beans is going in this one gallon bag. When you open your desiccant, I mean your uh, oxygen absorbers, they have a limited life. You can put them in a container and try to seal them again so they won't keep burning away, but I try to use them all. And drop in an oxygen absorber and it's ready to seal. Now this is a two-man operation but I'll try to do it by myself. If you have another person, one person holds this in there. Makes it a little easier. Now I have this hot iron, which is already hot and ready to go. I put it on, press, one, two, three seconds. I go further down. One, two, three seconds. Now I like to put another top order just in case. Three. One, two, three. Now, there is your package. I'm going to put a little label on it, which has the date and what's in there. It goes right on there like this. There we have it. There okay. it is. Our bag is set up. And they're ready for storage now. It's easier to handle in these small uh, one gallon. Uh, proportions instead of the big five gallon things but that's why we wanted to show you that that's an, also an option that you don't you can do the smaller bags and we got in a one gallon bag we got eight pounds of beans so we're going to put eight pounds of navy beans and uh, cornmeal sugar oats powdered milk all that we're going to add those and we're going to put those in with our oxygen absorbers okay that's all we have for that